All right, here are a few little uh, optional things. Um, this little tack switch here is not connected to anything, but uh, there's a pad so that it can be connected to the microcontroller. Um, like I said, I'm not some sort of uh, you know genius programmer here. So I can't figure out how to get it to do something. Uh, the code is pretty tight. There's not much room left in it. Um, to add anything, but if you can figure out how to optimize it and get the switch to do something, uh, that would be pretty cool, and hopefully you would share that. Um, at any rate, the pad to connect the switch is here. You can just run a wire from that pad to these digital pins, you know, whichever one or both you wanted, and then you can use that to send messages to the Arduino. That's a pretty simple procedure. Um, the trick is just like sneaking that in between um, video timing pulses, um, which is pretty tight. It's sort of pushing the Arduino to its limit as it is. Anyway, there's that. And also there are some extra pads here on the red, green, and blue jacks. And if you're just building VGA Forever as a standalone uh, unit without the chav, you could, if you want, uh, hardwire these jacks to the red, green, and blue pads here, if you wanted. Another thing that you could do is put, uh, you know, an Audi pin header row here and uh, an Audi pin header row here. And then you can use um, the any uh, the wires to patch there if you want. Um, this is R in quotation marks because, you know, it's just sort of arbitrary. These jacks could be anything. You could assign them to anything. Um, H and V are hard, you know, hard connected to the H and V pulses here. But, you know, you could assign them however you want. You could hardwire these to anything. Um, or you could put a pin header row here and here and then, um, you know, patch them. Whatever you want to do, whatever you'd like to do. Probably would make most sense, though, if you're building a standalone, to use Audi pins here, not receptacles, but pins. So then you can interpatch with uh, these connectors. If you put um, receptacle connectors here, the any receptacle connectors, like we're going to do for the Chav 3.0 build, uh, then you're going to have to have those cables that translate from any to Audi. And that is very uh, annoying. So uh, that's that, just a few little, you know, hacks for, uh, or options if you want to do an alternative build. That's that. Bye.